David Begno joins us now from Rowlett, Texas. David, those were some deeply emotional and painful interviews. How are those people doing now? You know, the Gerards are doing well. They're staying with a friend. Um, they're, they're, they're lucky to be alive. It's, it's a cliche, but I mean, understand this. You've got in this community of Rowlett where we are, 23 people who were injured, 600 homes that were hit, either damaged or destroyed, but no one died. Then you've got the nearby city of Garland where 11 people died. So the, yeah, are the Gerards devastated? Sure, but they are alive. And so the gratitude they are feeling this morning is palpable. Uh, we're hearing that more severe weather is expected in some parts of Texas. There's going to be a significant temperature drop. How on earth are these people preparing? How are they protecting themselves after, you know, trying to dig out from all this devastation? Look, besides watching the weather, I mean, what else do you do to protect yourself, right? You stay in an area, you try to stay ahead of the storm, you try to get out of the area. It is cold. I got to tell you, think about this. On Friday, Christmas Day, it was in the 70s and the 80s. People were wearing flip flops. Saturday, the tornadoes hit. Sunday, it was starting to cool off. It was cold last night. And this morning in the Dallas Metroplex, there was rain and snow. Where we are in the city of Rowlett, just look at this. Oftentimes when I cover tornadoes, you see a tornado hit a home and then it skips, right? So the one, one is leveled and then the two others on the side are not hit. But when you look across this vast area, just everything down this line, I mean, how's it, you know, it, it, it looks like popsicle sticks that people just threw into a pile. The windows busted out on this car. There are vehicles in this area that look like they crashed onto each other. On the other side of the camera, you can't see it. The home collapsed like pancakes on top of each other. Four people were in the house. Three had to be pulled out, taken to a local hospital. One man was able to get out, uh, get out alive. The stories that we're hearing are incredible. People in the closet lifted off their feet as the wind blew through their home. People who really didn't have time to take much shelter got inside. The windows started blowing. They dove under chairs, couches, tables, anything that they could. Oh, just unbelievable. Those pictures are unbelievable behind you. David, what's the response been like from the state of Texas? Uh, well, look, the governor's declared four states of emergency. The Dallas County judge who came out here on the week over the weekend said, I don't need to see anything more. What I saw in the last half hour uh, has led me to declare a state of emergency here in Dallas County. That's freeing up some federal funds, uh, state funds at least, county funds as well. So the state is here. I got to tell you, the power, 6,000 people just in the city of Rowlett, where we are, are without power. There is a police officer at every road. One thing that has happened is law enforcement agencies from really across North Texas have come here to this area to protect it from looters all right we're talking homes nice homes valuables belongings inside the home there were some reports of looting over the weekend not a lot of them but i got to tell you you cannot drive down a street in the city of Rowlett without running into a police officer at every stop sign that's a good thing you know i'm thinking about the timing too it's right after the holidays people get christmas presents i can only imagine right. you know the right. stuff that's been strewn about uh david begno on the ground in Rowlett, texas thank you so much david